You guys started out, I remember in when you first came through Brisbane, you were playing venues like the Troubadour and Rick's Cafe, Rick's. man. Yeah. Some oh, yeah. We, sold, we sold that out. People. Yeah. So I mean, was it like was it the same as that everywhere? You were playing the small, sweaty rooms like this. Um, yeah, it was pretty much around that sort of thing, and, and then and then you know some of the rooms started to get bigger, but then some places, particularly Adelaide, just started to get smaller. <laughs> <laughs> we were about to cross Adelaide off the list, and then it kind of came good. But um, yeah, it was we, we started out very humbly. And was there was there a stage? Obviously, my people was massive, but. Before that, I remember seeing you supporting Paul Mack in around 2005, and it seemed like two-thirds of the crowd was there to hear you guys. I mean, was that the sort of stage where it really st- felt like it started to take off? It's probably been... Oh, sorry. It's probably been... I, I've, never, I've never been able to really pinpoint any one moment where it's like, wow, finally, it's taken off. You know, it's been very gradual and very natural. I mean, you know, like the first time... Like, like when we played at Rick's Bar or the, Hope, or the first time we sold out the Hope Hotel in Sydney... That was a big deal at the time. And then when we sold out the Metro in Sydney, that was such a huge deal. And it's kind of built up. It's not like we were suddenly playing the domain, you know, um, three months into our career. You know, there was never any sort of one huge moment. Well, for me at least. I yeah, know, yeah, it's no, true. I mean, we worked pretty steadily and then it kind of came very gradually. And before you sort of, you know, hooked up officially as the presets, you know, you were in prop, but were you doing your own separate electronic things outside of that as well, or did it only kind of coalesce when you came together? Yeah, I, I, I never had a computer before we started presets, so no, not that's a long for me. Yeah, dabbled a little bit at uni, but I think we're right home with that. Yeah, it was all so new back then. I mean, I remember I had a little computer and cubase and stuff on it and to make beats and stuff and try and copy Fortis head and those kinds of things. Um, but yeah, sort of it wasn't until we sort of started the presets that we both sort of bought proper computers and then, you know, proper software and stuff and doing that kind of stuff. And so how did you get from noodly electronica post rock to smashing tunes? Was well, it was just because we started to muck around with these like really brash instant sort of like riffs, you know, especially Julian and um, in rehearsal with Prop and they just weren't really fitting with the kind of modus operandi of Prop, you know, it just wasn't right and um, yet yeah, it kind of spoke to me and, and then we, you know, we sort of shared a sort of similar understanding about that sort of stuff and um, yeah, we just kind of one day said we should do this for real, mm. you know, because we were sort of like Guns for hire with a lot of bands and um, sort of seeing how a lot of bands were operating and, you know, sort of like, we, we could kill these clowns if we actually put our minds to it, so... We killed them. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, we've heard it first.